What's up, guys? So if you haven't heard, the Battlefield 1 open beta kicked off a day or two ago, and despite the heavy server issues that many folks and myself were experiencing, I managed to run some benchmarks of the beta release using the GTX 1060 6GB Founders Edition and the reference RX 480 8GB model to see how these mid-range cards are handling the next installment in the Battlefield franchise so far. Of course, being a pre-release version of the game, let's keep in mind that the performance, quality settings, and pretty much everything else you'll see today is subject to change for the final release. Today's findings are simply intended to give us a hint at what we might expect to find come the game's October 21st debut. Starting with a quick look at our in-game video options, the beta actually has quite a few settings for us to play around with, including V-Sync, Field of View, Motion Blur, Weapon Depth of Field, and even options for colorblind gamers. In the Advanced tab, you'll find the option to enable DirectX 12, which is supported by Battlefield 1, although it's been known to be finicky with the open beta, and I, for the life of me, could not get it to work properly with any of my DirectX 12 frame rate monitoring software software, so you'll just have to deal with my crummy DirectX 11 benchmarks until the game's full release. Apart from resolution scaling and UI scale factor adjustment, the beta also has some familiar graphical settings ranging from low to ultra, as well as a custom option for fine-tuning your experience. For our testing, I enabled the ultra preset of course, and ran both cards overclocked, giving the GTX 1060 a 230 MHz offset on the core clock and a 4% boost on the RX 480 in AMD Wattman. The cards ran the game at 1080, 1440, and 4K, and while there's little sense in using these cards to play AAA titles at Ultra HD, this was done more for direct comparison purposes than for practicality. So with that said, here's our single benchmark slide showing the results from today's tests. The data shows the GTX 1060 as a top performer at all three resolutions, pulling more and more ahead of the RX 480 as we increase the pixel count. As expected, 1080 gamers with either card will likely experience some very nice frame rates in Battlefield 1. However, during my test, the game ate up 3.2 gigs of VRAM at 1080p, so if you're looking to play this game with the GTX 1060, I would opt for the 6GB variant for the best results. That should also be more than enough to service the game at 1440p, where our memory maxed out at around 3.6 gigs. AMD users probably won't have to worry about this so much, as even the cheaper 4GB RX 480 appears to have a large enough frame buffer at higher resolutions. With that said, only the GTX 1060 was able to top the 60fps threshold at 1440, while yielding 17% more more frames on average than Team Red. The RX 480 held its own though, meaning GTX 970 and R9 390 users should also have no issues running the game with similar settings at Quad HD, especially if overclocking. Finally, at 4K, I wanted to mention that the maximum GDDR5 usage hit 4.4 gigs, so neither card was really crippled so much in terms of VRAM as they were in raw speed and performance. Again, guys, these are not necessarily the exact results we're going to see on launch day, but at the same time, I don't think they're too far off since they do fall in line with previous DirectX 11 benchmarks we've seen from these two cards. That is to say, the GTX 1060 6GB model will likely be the faster card for Battlefield 1, with the RX 480 being the slower but adequate and more affordable option. But that's going to do it for now, guys. Let me know in the comments if you think today's results are indicative at all of the performance we'll see on launch day and how you've been liking the Battlefield 1 beta so far, assuming you've been able to penetrate those EA servers. Ha! I said penetrate. As always, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see y'all in the next video.